And uh, let's go through Veer United's first. And in goal for them, Roger Williams, the back four of Kean Henry. Usually see him in the middle of the park, but now he's going to be playing the left side of the defence. Kenroy Lumsden, Fitzroy Cummings and Alwyn Strong complete the back four in the middle of the park. Doreen Dyer, uh, Javier Brown and Lloyd Mann up front. Kajay Smith, Sean Campbell and Orlando Lawrence. Lawrence the remains with... the only goal scorer in the starting lineup for Veer. Yeah, they'll be playing with a 4-3-3. The other goal scorer, Ricardo Dennis, not in the squad at all. And this is how they'll be shaped up. Good to have Javier Brown, Javier Brown, sorry, in the middle. And a man who has scored some 10 goals in his Premier League career. Three last season. And he's probably their main player, the number 14. I suppose but, yeah. you can call him Javier if you're Spanish, but <laughs> I think he calls himself Javier and that's fine by us. Let's take a look at the Dunby Holden starting lineup. Damien Hyatt will be between the six. Siobhan James, Zakia Wills, Shaboy Watkin and Ricardo Thomas. Uh, they make up the back four. Tyrese Go, uh, Fabian McCarthy, Shaquin Powell and Nikoi Christian in the middle of the park. Up top, Stephen Williams and Stephen Barnett. No changes for Dumble Holding, the same seat team that they fielded against Arnett Gans. 4 4 2 is what they will play in. Peter McGregor still on the bench, no form found. And Barnett, the leading goal, scored three goals up front with, as I said, Stephen Williams, fresh from his move from Waterhouse. Nicoy Christian deployed on the right hand side, and Tyrese Go on the left. Really an exciting player, 17 years of age, acting until technical now. And from Sean Campbell, but the. Kick straight to the keeper. And then that one from Man over the top. Lovely block from Watkin, our player of the game, denying Orlando Lawrence. That was just first class from Watkin. Don't be holding at quite a few chances. But they lacked some imagination in the attacking third, even the, in the second half. That was some really good work. Decided to go back out wide. Not sure why he tried to do that. That was the young man, Gao. And then the ball played inside, looking for McGregor. Gao again was instrumental. Put behind. Burton another sub, going wide and this one going across the face of goal, anguish there on his face, knowing that he was also so close. And then McCarthy from distance, Williams would have been disappointed with that attempt and although the ball had crossed the line, the whistle had gone for that follow through from Shevan James and maybe that as well from James again. Brown doing well, pulling that one across and not sure what London was thinking, you know, playing it right into the path of Dean Andre Thomas who loves scoring against Veer United, right on the doorstep, made no mistake and then Peter McGregor flashing this one just wide of the mark, looked really good that attempt. And then another opportunity, Dean Andre Thomas had to force Roger Williams to make the chain, make the save, sorry. Moving across to his left. Very nice, had six shots, one on target. Dunby Holden had six on target. 15 fouls committed by Very United, seven more than Dunby Holden. They had the majority of the other cards as well, Very United. Corner kicks, a piece three. And at the end of the day, the possession in favor of Dunby Holden at 56%. Well, Chevoy, you're certainly racking up these man of the match performances. How does it feel to keep a clean sheet for your team and get that three points? Well, um, it's, it's good to keep a clean sheet because we are working. And we know this team is a defensive team, so we know what they're coming with. They were wasting time a lot, so. Only thing we have to do is get a goal in the back of the net, and that's how we did. You had an awesome season last year with Portmore, now coming into this Dumble Holding team. How has your time been? Well, uh, Dumble Holding is a good team. Um, the players are fun, they welcome me a lot. They told me that I was the best at Portmore, so that's why they come for me. So I'm just here to do my best. 
off the field you certainly smile a lot but we know on the field it's all about business you're a very aggressive defender how do you manage both personalities well um i got my my, my left back eche ricardo thomas he always keep talking to me so he's the one that keep me calm while See. all right chef boy solid performance again all the best for the rest of the season thank you chef boy what <laughs>